let's test the distance and size of the moon again. This time we use NASA for their information. Let's have a look at the International Space Station, or fake station, whatever you want to call it. Oh, there it is. Now, I don't want to point out the obvious, but those eight solar panels, they are bigger than any spacecraft, like the um, Challenger or the other ones that took, apparently took all this stuff up there. And they built it over the last 18 years. You know, so if you believe in this International Space Station, uh, surely you want to believe in pink elephants. Uh, let's see if we can find a picture of a pink elephant. Oh, look, there's one. <laughs> that means they're true, that they exist. Of course it's not. It's been photoshopped. I didn't do it myself. But anything can be photoshopped. So even if you do see pictures of the International Space Station, they may not be true. Let's do a test. Right, we're going to look at a lunar transit of the International Space Station. And I'm choosing the one on Friday, the... 15th, I think it was. Uh, it'll come up and see. I can't see yet. Uh, there it is. 15th of September. A lunar transit near to where I live. The transit duration is uh, 3.45 seconds. So it's a very fast thing to film. There's a blue box there. That's the width of where you'll see it. If you're on the top edge of the blue box, you won't see it passing in front of the moon. You'll only see it go across the centre if you're on that red dot. I've placed this green marker in because it provides the information. If you look at the little picture on the left of the information box, it shows you the transit of the International Space Station. Now I've moved it five kilometres to the north, and you can see the line in the photo again. I'm now going to move it 2.5 kilometres from the red marker, and you can see the line on the moon as it will transit. This is what you're expected to see. So this is great information because I can use that later. Right, let's now move it to five kilometers south of the red marker. And that's the 10 kilometer diameter circle I drew or searched for. Right, let's recap and see what's going on. Now I need to move that because I don't know what picture's coming up on this. Right, let's show you the CAD picture I've drawn. This is the one-to-one -one scale. That's one kilometer to one millimeter of the moon, the little red dot on the right and the Earth, the white and blue dot on the left. Let's have a close up. This is the Earth, as they tell us, the white circle. The information's on the right in the box. Now let's click on the blue circle, which is the orbit of the International Space Station. The information again is in the right hand box. And now we're gonna have a little recap of how wide that little viewing platform is from the ground. It's 11.6 kilometers. So let's draw that up in CAD. In the same drawing, I've just zoomed into a smaller part and that's the information. I'll use that yellow line to correspond and meet at the International Space Station, which I've represented with that green circle. And you can see the diameter of that orbit. Now we're gonna zoom into the um, International Space Station picture here. I've obviously not put anything there because I don't believe it is there. It's just represented by a circle and you can clearly see that the lines correspond to the crossing point. That's the moon, the little red circle. The information is in the right hand box. Now, if the International Space Station information is correct, then it would have the moon would have to be that big if it was that distance, which is ridiculously stupid. Now I'm showing you the moon at the size they tell us it is but i've had to move it that close you can see that in the center x marker on the right hand side that would be the distance if it was that diameter but i believe this is the true size of the moon and the true distance is clearly showing in the information box if you believe in the international space station then this must be correct of course there is the possibility that the moon is not a physical object and may be an illusion just like a rainbow could it be that? It's just an illusion. Thank you.